Hi, ET family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. We always start with a hug, so come on, let's do the hug. Thanks for joining me today. It's not cute not knowing and what happened to Bobby Brown's son. Bobby Brown Jr., 28 years old, was found dead in his Los Angeles home yesterday. As of this moment, there's been no statement from Bobby Brown or Junior's mom. Bobby Brown Jr.'s girlfriend has gone on social media to talk about, you know, the death. He was a promising musician. Authorities say that no foul play was found. So what was it? Was he sick? Was it some kind of an accident and he fell? I'm sure we'll find out with an official autopsy, but Bobby Brown, it was just five years ago they lost Bobby Christina, his daughter by the late Whitney Houston, and now for this, Bobby Brown Jr. dead at the age of 28. Wonder Woman 1984. HBO Max, everybody. It's coming out in some theaters that may be open on Christmas Day, but basically it's coming to HBO Max and they're not going to charge you extra because it's coming on the streaming service. I think it's a big message because when Disney Plus, when they did Mulan and they were charging extra money, I don't think it did as well as they thought. Now, it's going to come on regular Disney Plus in early December, but Mulan did not bring in the numbers because a lot of people were like, we're paying for the streaming service. We're not going to pay any more. So, Wonder Woman, 1984, HBO Max, Christmas Day. It will not cost you any more money than that. Now, speaking of HBO Max, they dropped it early. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion. I had a chance to interview Aunt Viv number two, Daphne Maxwell Reed, and she said it they hadn't seen each other. Everyone was kept in separate hotels, so it felt like a real reunion with everyone seeing each other for the first time. Great tribute to James Avery, who played Uncle Phil. Carlton is dancing. There are some funny moments, but the reunion, the reconciliation, so glad this feud is over between Will Smith and actress Janet Hubert, who was Aunt Viv first, and she played Aunt Viv for three years. She talked about the devastation of losing it all, her family turning against her, how the term, she's difficult, because that's how a lot of people want to see a black woman. She's difficult, and nobody will want to give you work. I hope from this that she is hired or she finds work and something. The woman can act. She can dance. That moment, that moment there, you'll find yourself like, but it was a great, it was, it, it was, it was just a great story. Great reunion. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion is streaming now on HBO Max. Wayne Brady is coming to Fox with a new show. Now he won the Masked Singer last year. This show, they love these masks or hidden stuff. He's not only hosting, but he's producing where performers have to guess the performer's hidden talent. I wasn't too excited. Maybe I just have to, like, see it, you know. But Wayne Brady is coming to Fox in this. Waiting to Exhale, the TV series, it is really happening at a fast speed. Lee Daniels is producing. It's coming to ABC. Tarek McMillan, she wrote the book, 1992, Waiting to Exhale. She's going to be a consulting producer. But Waiting to Exhale, the TV series, it's coming. Lee Daniels is behind it, and it's coming to ABC. I got my sports things mixed up in here. Um, sticking with ABC, Blackish is going back to Tuesday, followed by Mixish. Oldish will probably debut sometime next year, and they set it up perfectly with Lawrence Fishburg and Jennifer Lewis reconciling and remarrying. So they're setting everything up for Oldish, but Blackish, everybody, and next year, a few weeks away, it is going to be returning to Tuesday nights. There is a limited series in the works about the friendship between Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X. The tentative title is Blood Brothers, but there's a limited series in the work. Now, this is so interesting because 
The Regina King movie, One Night in Miami, talks about the relationship between Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Sam Cooke, Jim Brown. And it was during the period where Muhammad Ali was not yet Muhammad Ali. He was Cassius Clay and how his friendship and how Malcolm X brought him into the Nation of Islam. And it's just, it's, it, it seemed like it's going to be good, but they're a very unique friendship. And now you see all of these um, movies and interest in their very unique relationship. Big congratulations, former President Barack Obama. His book, A Promised Land, is selling so well. It is the best-selling book, the best, best-selling book, but a former ex-president. The book just came out. It came out on Tuesday. It examines that first term in office and running for office and really taking the world by storm because there was a time they was like, what's a Barack Obama? Who is the senator? Who is the senator from Illinois? He's the senator from Chicago. And now he went on to become the president, but it is the best-selling book or the best-sellingest book by former president. It's breaking records. He's also on the cover of In Style magazine. I want to make sure that I went over everything. Oh, I got something for you guys. Saturday night on HBO. Between the world and me. I can never say his name right because I'm thinking of it so hard. Tanashi Coates. I'm not saying that name again because it, it's bad. He wrote this book, best selling book, basically a love letter to his 15 year old son about what you'll face in life growing up as a black man, what you'll face in this world. This presentation that's coming on HBO Saturday night. It's going to feature a lot of celebrities. What would you tell, if you if you have a son, what would you tell them as they grow up? What would you tell them to expect or what to face? If you ever talk with a young person, what advice would you give them about facing the world? Unfortunately for many, you know, parents of black children, you got to give them the talk. If you ever stop by the cops, don't flinch, put your hands up, don't don't talk back. Don't give them a reason to harm you, kill you. And this is a very real thing because you don't know what you're going to face. So there's a talk that you have to give so that they'll so that they'll be aware. You know the, the thing with When the kid rice was, see, it's it's totally like slipping my mind. When he was killed, hoodie, skittles. You know, sometimes as a parent, you know, when you're when your child goes out, you don't think that something's going to happen, especially when they are just maybe going to the store to get skittles. And it's a little chilly, so you know you put your hoodie on. Tamar Rice. What would you say to your young person? It's a different world. Social media with all this influence and too many people are influenced by it. But what would you say as a parent? You're going to see Mahershala Ali, Jarrell Jerome, Angela Bassett, Oprah Winfrey. So many people are participating in this. And it's, it's mind-blowing, and it makes you think about a message that you would have for your child or grandchild or young people that are around you. One of the, the, the great things about getting older, because we had talked about getting older in the podcast that I do, I love the wisdom. I love the wisdom that you can share with others. Either... You might not want to go down that street because I went down that street and it's not good to go down that street. I think it's the wisdom. Now, everybody's not going to listen to what you have to say, but there's something about giving people the wisdom to make life just a little bit easier. Just, just 
a little bit. But Between the World, You and Me, HBO, Saturday night at 8 o'clock. You got to let me know what you think. Or if you've read the book, let me know. And what advice would you give to that younger person in your life? It's Not Cute Not Knowing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're a newbie, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do a weekend edition that, that comes up every week. So that there's a lot going on. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button because what do we love? We love the likes. If you leave a comment, you know that I've seen it because I will give you a heart. And I know I've got to catch up on, on comments. And I'm going to do that tonight. I had one of the mommy nights last night with dinner and doing stuff so I kind of got sidetracked but do that we're here for you and I'm so glad that you're here and that you enjoy the channel I'm Patty Jackson thanks for joining me I'm your auntie of pop culture <laughs>